hello it is time for another unboxing and today is the september book box club so if you don't want to see what's inside this then look away now because i am opening it so the theme for this month is once upon a story i really like this artwork i say this every month but i really love the artwork it's really lovely and then we have the clubhouse invite i'm gonna just move the book First up, we have this No Place Like Home candle, and this smells so good, so it's all glittery. And this is, I don't actually know what the scent is for this. It does not say, but it smells nice. Then we have this pin, which I believe is from the Never Ending Story. Um, you're welcome if you've now got that song stuck in your head because now I have. Next up, we have this, which we actually got one of these before. So it's like this, and you can use it as a headband and a mask as well, I think. Yeah, face masks. So you can use it, <laughs> it's a multifunctional headwear. It's got um, pirate <laughs> beanie, neck scarf, headband, wristband, hair tie, rally towel, face mask, Alice band, blindfold, hair cover, foulard, and balaclava. So yeah, and I really like the design on this. It's a really cute design. Like it's got all little different, it's upside down. <laughs> it's got all little like bookish things on and I really like it, it's cute. So the next item is this little cushion cover which is like a book and it's got all different things coming out of it and I really like this it's really cute and on the other side it's just orange but yeah but yeah this is really cute the next item is adorable so it's a little my weekly book planner so obviously you can tear them off each week so we have like mood for the week pages read hour spent reading a number of books read books I'm reading and the rating, favourite quotes and books to read. This is really cute. And then the final item before the book is this little set of postcards. So I'm not going to actually take them out, but they all are the same. Yeah, they're all the same. So it's this little ballerina, ballerina. I'm going to say ballerina, gymnast, whatever. Um, and this is just a little, they're little postcards. And this is just like a little um, so added thing, like to promote a girl made of air by um nadia hetherington so yeah that's cute it's like a little bow and then the book is d by michael faber um this sounds okay um i'm intrigued so we have the book we have the sign book plate um it, this cover is really nice i really like this like look at that oh Mm, yeah, I love it. So I'm going to read you the blurb. With Dekilo gazed through the doorway at the world beyond. This was her last opportunity to run back to safety. She thought about it, but only for a moment. An adventure was waiting for her. It all starts on the morning the letter D disappears from the language. It vanishes from her parents' conversation at breakfast, then from the road signs outside, and from her school dinners. Soon the local dentist and the neighbour's Dalmatian are missing, and even the donkey derby has been called off. Though she doesn't know why, Dekilo is summoned to the home of her old history teacher, Professor Doddlefield, and his faithful Labrador, Nellie Robinson. And this is where our story really begins. Set between England and the wintry land of Liminus, a world enslaved by the monstrous Gamp and populated by fearsome, enchanting creatures, Dee, a tale of two worlds, is a mesmerising tale of friendship and bravery in an in uncertain world. I can't talk today. Um, so, this sounds good. However... The whole idea of the letter D going missing, for me, feels like it's too close to the story of the star first Starfell book. So I haven't read the sequel to Starfell yet, like uh, Will Moss on the Lost Day, uh, but I haven't read the sequel to that yet. But in that, the day Tuesday goes missing, and this sounds too close to that, so I don't know if I'm going to like this, um, just because... I don't like books when they're that similar, but I'm going to give it a go because it does sound okay and the book is really pretty. So we shall see. But that was my unboxing. I think my favourite item is 
probably the candle because I'm a sucker for candles. Um, but yeah, uh, that was my unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. As always, I will put the names of all the artists and shops in the description box below. And I will see you next time. Bye.